Hello, this is Broy, and welcome back to an episode of Let's Play Motorsport Manager. If you got to see the last episode, it actually turned out a lot more exciting than I would expect. We got three points off of the last episode, which was very, very helpful for keeping us, you know, in solidly above the sixth place mark. Um, pretty happy with that. It was a little bit of a surprise, but I mean, we played a pretty safe race, played it well, and it worked out. Car condition, not too bad. Um, yes, the engines are holding the team back. Whatever, she just needs to button it. <laughs> I mean, her morale's gonna go down, but we'll be able to get that back. I'm not too worried about it. We know, we know about the engines, everybody. The engines are bad. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a hidden story or anything like that. All right, so our repair guys are pretty bad off right this second. And our fuel guys are not super great. So I guess we'll have to hire, well, we can probably go with this. I'm not too worried about the repair guys. Mistake percentage. Well, it would be good to get at least... Oh, my God, look at you. You're amazingly good. But honestly, we don't need to go that crazy on the money. Like somebody like this or like this would be fine. Some good fueling right there. So I'll move you up to that spot. I'm going to leave you resting, though, because I do want to bring you back at some point. kind of want to rest you guys, though, too. Just because you kind of need to come back. Um, we have four races left. I'd like to get you back on the tires, honestly. So let's hire a couple more people here. We're going to hire... I guess we're going to hire one of these expensive guys. Really good at everything. And we'll hire... I guess we'll hire you. Spending money I don't want to spend, but what you gonna do? All right, so we'll plug you in up here on tires. That way you can plug in, let's see, you can plug in on tires as well for now. That was our front and rear jack. Front and rear jack look okay. Um, yeah, so that's okay. And then we'll plug you guys into the fixing. Actually, I don't want you to be there because I want you, you're on fuel. Actually, you could be a better fuel person then. Slightly better, but not much. Um, no, that'll be fine. We'll go with that. That'll work. That'll work. Um, actually, nope. You will come up here. Even better. Oh, we're down to, we're, we're actually up to 14.5 seconds, but a lot of that's the fuel. Fuel's just not good right now. Oh, well, it's, it's something. It's a thing. Car repair finished. Oh yeah, we're going to borrow some money from the chairman. We might as well. It's going to make her unhappy, but I think we can bring that back again. Just to get us back in a good spot. We'll bring the we'll bring her happiness back up. It's going to be fine. We do have sponsorship available, which is awesome. Um, 200,000, that's 2 mil. This was just a flat 750, but then we'd be able to get some more money after that, which would be pretty solid. This one is 350 up front, 1.5 for race. So this one's actually not as good, I don't think. Probably one of these two. Um, 10 races. Would we get another chance before the end? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, we would get one. This one would not come back in time. So I think I'm going to grab this one for now so that we get another one right after that. Just about the same. All right, so engine design is finished. This is going to be our absolute best engine that we got. All right, improved parts, reliabilities, fine. Honestly, at this point, I don't know that we need any performance or anything else is not really going to help us out that much. So I think the best thing we can do is just lock you in there, go full speed on the performance. I mean, I guess we could get some reliability, but I don't think the reliability is really going to matter right now. Now, nah, school feeds full speed on that performance and get that one completely maxed out, and that will be fine. Do we want to lock them both in? I don't know if it mattered. I can't remember if it mattered if we had two of them. 
that were really good or if it just was just one that mattered. Start with one, go from there. All right, we do have some more sponsor stuff. So 10 races left. So either one of these will get another one before the end. This one we will not. Ninth or above. Oof. So tempting because it's, you know, possible. But I don't know that we would pick this over the 13th or above because the 13th or above is almost guaranteed money. So in that case, we may just ignore this one for now. So probably go with whichever one of the ones that has a better up front, which would be these are tied. This one has seven race, race deals. We'll get some more money back sooner. So we'll accept this money. We need to get our marketability back up. It's a bit low compared to what we've had in the past. European Racing Series. Man, it's been a long time since we've been there. Not just in the game. It's been a long time in real life since we've been there. I've been running this series for a while now. I mean, I had a couple moments of some, some hiatus, a couple months there here and there, but overall we've been going pretty good. Um, Spec rear wings. Eh, might be interesting. I absolutely love working in the factory. I'm good. I'm happy. I'd love to get a better factory because... If we get a better factory, we can get a car, you know, dealership and some, some other things. Or car uh, manufacturing, I should say. Boat started. Rear wings cannot be developed in-house. All teams use standard rear wings of performance level 150. Lowers the annual cost of the car, which is awesome. Will not benefit traditional teams. Really? Well, I'm going to actually abstain because I don't know if I would be too upset if we got this. Doesn't look like it's going to pass, which is fine. I'm not really worried one way or the other. Invite to a stock car race. You just came back from being injured. Now you're going to go racing stock car. I mean, you're just going to bring your marketability up a little bit. I guess you're breaking, so that's good, I suppose. But that's interesting. Hong is feeling better. Perfect. That's all we needed. All right, we'll go 13th or above again. I would love to go for the 6th or the above, but I just can't. Can't count on it, unfortunately. All right, go with that. Part fitting. Let's bring this back in line again. Let's see here. I want to trust that Lau is feeling pretty good about himself and is ready to rock and roll. So we'll give him the better parts again. So acceleration. This is the year of the engine. I mean, that's the only thing we really improved this year. It's not even really, truth be told, not improved that much compared to the rest of the... the I mean, look how, look how low these circles still are. It's just, it takes forever to work your way up the, up the rankings. All right, so gearbox and then brakes. I mean, we'll get there eventually. We'll get there eventually. And low speed corners. Something like that. You are unhappy, but we're actually going to swap these because he gets the nurse. Or he doesn't have the nurse, I mean, so that's a little bit better. I don't know why you're angry. I mean, come on. You still got a pretty good car. All right, fine. We'll give you the front wing. Now are you happy? You both think your car is better than the other person's, which is hilarious. You're actually going to lose a little bit of mor morale here still, though. Hmm, it's unfortunate. What is your morale? Why am I not seeing your morale? I'm sure it's staring me. Oh, there, uh, that's marketability. Oh, there it is. Morale down there. Um, what are you? Okay, you're fine overall. Not quite up to here, which would be awesome. Removes the red zone from car condition, which is obviously great i mean that's gonna be really really good for us oh frankie he's the one that's considering offers okay that's fine i'm not too worried about you buddy you are a pay driver oh that's right i was supposed to have been running you this entire time and i completely forgot wow i feel really dumb 
That's the reason we got you. I thought we got the guy that was um, last. Was it last season? The season before, we got a guy that um, made our other drivers just better. You know, that made them, uh, um, you know, advance better on their their overall stats. So I forgot that we picked up the pay driver guy. Honestly, I really did. Well, 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 that's unfortunate. Well, now I remember. So I will start racing him um, for now. But yeah, that was a. Uh, I mean, it's not great to bring him in because it does lower our practice, you know, stuff. But still, it's money. It's four hundred thousand bucks. Yeah, we gotta we gotta run him as long as we have him. We've only got him probably for the rest of the season. Then he's probably gonna move on from us. But we gotta pick him up. As much money from him as we can. So we'll go with you two guys for now. Um, change setup. This is Kicktown. Kicktown track A. Go with that. Looks good. A tire choice. We'll go with Vultures. It's fine. And your Cape Town is right there. Same thing, Ultras. How's the weather going to be? Eh, looks like it's going to be okay. And send out. And we will focus on qualifying. And go. Oh, your down, uh, down forces just smidge off. Let's start with that, see where that gets us. Okay, you are qualifying. Perfect. And go. Oh, two excellence already. I'm happy with that. All right. Um... Let's see here, we just need to get the speed balance locked in here. We need quite a bit though. Let's try with something like that first. Alright, so at least we know your wing is like right on the line. I'll try something pretty drastic. See what that does for us. Ah, closer. Speed balance is almost there. 97%. I can live with that if we had to. Well, let's move it just a smidge more. So we did actually get worse on your speed. But we locked in the handling. So we went from good to poor. So we definitely know it needs to go the other direction. And we'll lock that in. Try that. Still not quite getting it, man. In fact, we got worse, didn't we? Good, great, good. So it's actually going to be probably just to the left of that great. Something like that. Eh, closer, getting there. Up to 97%. Good, good, poor. X, very great. I wonder if it's like right up along the line here as well. we'll try it that way and then we have to go the other direction, then we will. Perfect. That's exactly what we want to see. Go ahead and go out stints. Three laps. Go. See if we can get this qualifying locked in. Oh, did not get In fact, we messed up the, uh, the handling. Hmm. Which 
<laughs> There's like a microscopic change between these two, which is crazy. So we know handle needs to go at least a little to the left. And this is probably got to come down a little bit more to there. Hmm. I actually don't know how to get this locked in the way I want it. If we change this and just did it with the tires, oh, not like that. The combination of the two. I don't think we can lock it in any better. I think we just get the uh, get the speed back, or they get the uh, handling locked in and just be happy with that. In fact, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get you out on three laps. I think we're going to be fine with this. It'll be all right. Just go, go, go. Get our uh, get our knowledge up as fast as possible, guys. Should be able to lock in and rank three here pretty quickly. Worn tires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just. Just gotta stick it out long enough to get to rank three, buddy. Right, you're back in. Um, we got enough time to do some stuff here, so we'll go ahead and go out to stints, a little race trim, go the full 12 laps or something, and we will swap you over to some, I guess, super softs. No rain or anything? Nope. Lau's about to come back in. Yeah, never got it locked in, unfortunately, but that's going to have to deal with 97%. It's really hard to lock those in sometimes. Um, I'm not going to probably mess with the wings or something like that and get it figured out. Actually, you know what? let me see if I can do that. If I were to mess with the wing, put you like that, put you back up to that. No, because that, that's the other one. We need to do it the other direction then. Like, you need to come down to there. Bring you back up. There we go. That's That gets us a little bit off-center. And then let's bring you back down to that. It's not much, though. It's something. It, it might might get us there. Let's try that. I mean, I'm still going to go ahead and go on full stint. Oh, no. Nope. Um, cancel that. Did it take my changes? Oh, it did not. All right, so what was I doing? Okay, I brought you down pretty far. Brought you back up. Something like that. It's not much of a change, but it's something. All right, we'll try that. Uh, we'll go stints. Again, race trim. 12 laps. Tires. We want to switch you over. That's what we wanted to do. Not much of a change, but it might be just enough if we're close. We might get up to level 2 here. It's going to be close, but I think we will get it. Not quite going to be three, though, unfortunately. It is what it is. Pretty close, though, honestly. Lau's just that much better on the knowledge stuff than, uh, than Chi is, so that's why, even with him being with the backup driver, he's able to get it really, really close up there. All right, good stuff. Felt like a pretty good set overall. I actually didn't even see where we were placing, to be honest. Was not paying attention to that part. Alright, so Ultrasoft qualifying. And you'll go qualifying and sweeter. And... Ah, we did lock it in. Perfect. 
was hoping we would get it right there at the end. Yeah, I didn't think about the wing change. That, that, that should have done that a lot sooner. It's alright. We got it. We got it finally. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on. Lao is above the sponsor objective as of right now, although we do got to get one more set. Unfortunately, Chi did get eliminated, um, which is unfortunate. Come on, Lao. Just get 13th or above. That's all we need, buddy. Don't care if you get eliminated here. Stay above 13. Get it? Right at 13. Okay, that counts. That counts barely, but it counts. I will take it. Alright. Allowed to get eliminated, but that's okay. Not important. If anything, it saves us some tires. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not expecting to get any points on this race because obviously, we, you know, even with qualifying, we were as far down as just barely 13th. So don't think this is going to be our type of race, but you never know. We've seen some some stranger things happen. Very windy race. Lots of lots of corners and stuff, which I think that's that's our problem is we are working on the uh, engine. But I mean, our our acceleration is still not that good at all or anything like that. All right, lock that in uh, and we'll grab your Grab an ultra soft and race trim. That's gonna be fine. Car setups are good. All this stuff is good. Any thoughts of weather or anything like that? Nope. Looks like we're gonna be fine. Let's get this going. See if we can get us another hundred thousand bucks. And they're off. Let's see here. Chi is currently in the lead. Yeah, all right. We'll follow Chi for a little bit. See what you can do, girl. It's a cool day out. It's actually a pretty cool day. I was going to say that we're not getting that much heat in the tires. We'll let it go a little bit longer on double red. I'll go ahead and bring it down just a bit. Oh, wow. 20th place. Way back there. I'm not sure what happened to them. She's up in 9th. Lau's in 11th. Not too bad. Not too bad. Getting a little hot on the tires. So we'll bring that back down again. Up. And then we'll bring down the... Uh, if I can remember the, the key, key binds. Bring the engines down to orange on both for now. It's kind of settle in for a bit. I actually think on neutral on the tires because of the cold, you know, cold day you might, you might see the heat start coming out just on that. We may not have to go all the way down to conserve, which would be good. Obviously, all of us ultra tires are top ten, top eleven, uh, and then everybody else is pretty far down below that. So, good move to stay on the ultras as long as we can. Not really getting much track grip so far, but it will start building up here probably around lap 10. We are burning through these tires like nobody's business, though. But so is everybody else, to be honest. These Ultras are just just going so fast. Oh, you know what? We're going to have to... Let's just go crazy on the engines for now. We're going to have to change tires anyway. Um, I should have pit somebody there. We'll go ahead and schedule Lau's pit. So we're definitely not going to come back out on Ultras right now. That would be, I think, a little silly. We may have to come all the way up to Softs at this point if we only want to get two more pits. But actually... 17... Ah, we actually might be able to make it two more pits. Oh, yeah, just one more pit, I should say. If we can get the tires to last. Or we could just plan for two more. I don't know. It's not a huge difference in performance on these two. So let's just go ahead and switch over to the softs for now. I think it's going to be fine. We'll max out the fuel. And see if we can just make it with one more pit.
quite schedule your pit. I mean, you technically could come out with some ultras. You do have some ultras left. That would mean two more pits for you. Uh, which would be fine, honestly. You do you change tires really fast, and there is a pretty big difference here. You know, let's keep you on ultras. We'll do something different here. Go and get as much fuel as we can while we're in this first one. We're gonna do this though. I'm gonna keep it on fast as well. Just see if you can really take advantage of these ultras as long as possible in this race. Take one extra pit for her, even if all we're doing is changing tires. She's got the faster change, tire changing, so I'm hoping it works out for us. We move you up to push, keep you on overtake for just a little bit, but we'll probably drop your fuel down pretty quickly because we do want you to conserve. In fact, we probably will drop you down to yellow here in a minute. I'm going to drop you down to yellow on um, fuel allow. And uh, keep you on orange on the tires, though, because it looks like you are fine there for now. Yeah, she's got a long ways to go, to go to get back into this thing, but I think she'll be all right. So the idea here being that we only want Chi to uh, to swap tires on this setup. This first this first first extra pit stop. Man, she is so far behind. Does she have a mistake or something? I'm not sure if I was expecting her to get this far behind. I feel like we have to push her engine. If we're going to take advantage of the ultra tires, we got to push her engine a little bit more. In fact, you know what? We're just going to go straight up red on her. Just deal with it. That was looking pretty good. Hanging in there. We'll bring him down on the tires just a bit. I mean, she's up to 16th, but I was really hoping she'd get back into this a bit more than that. Probably go one more lap with her, and then we'll pit her. Go ahead and schedule her pit now. And uh, the idea being that we were going to bring her back on some ultras again. We want to put any fuel back in. Uh, the Ultras are going to get what? As much as 10 laps, which... How many laps did we actually get? We're getting actually about 9 laps. So... I'll put a little tiny bit of fuel. Not much. I don't want this pit to take that long. We'll just go, we'll go a little bit less. Maybe a bit of a mistake. I don't know. Maybe it's a mistake. We'll see. It was a gamble. Trying something different with her. Right, obviously a very, very pet, fast pit stop. We'll leave her on with the settings she's got right now. And just, just let her go. Let her go to town. Now let's go ahead and bring you up to high. You're going to have to change tires here in a minute anyway. Alright, so what lap do we actually need to get you to? Um, I guess 28, lap 28. Uh, 27, 28, something like that. It's going to be close. You might have needed to put one more, one more lap of fuel in, which, eh. Oh well. Actually, if you need to get over here to 28 as well, let's go and drop you down to medium, I guess. Is it 28? How many how many laps of fuel is it? No, it's 17. I'm sorry. Um, 
So we need to get you to 25, which you could already do. So we're good there. Go ahead and bring you up to push on the tires for just a little bit. Now you're both good on the fuel, I think. Both going to be okay. All right, so Lau needs to pit after he crosses the line here. So we're going to put a whole bunch of fuel in it anyway. We'll go ahead and move you up to overtake. And we'll go ahead and plan your pit. And you're going to come back on softs again. 20 laps remaining. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm mis misthinking this. Um, you need to come down to conserve on the tires. I was thinking backwards there for a second. We need to at least get uh, one more lap out of you. So I gotta get you on 25. That's right, that's what it is. Let's bring you down to high and neutral for now. All right, now we plan for Lao, Lao's pit, I think. Yeah, because you'll have 17 laps left, which is exactly how much fuel we we'll have. So if we go a little bit conservative in the middle of the race, we'll be fine. Truthfully, we might be able to come out on super sauce at this point. It's too much of a risk, I think. Park conditions looking okay. And we'll come on up fast. Takes so long to get that fuel in there. Alright, let's go ahead and go up to... We'll leave it on high, but we'll go up to push. And you need to pit now. So again, same thing. We'll go ahead and move you over to softs. Go fill up. Parts are looking okay. And we'll go fast. Again, might have been a mistake the way we did her. Looks like she's going to be really far behind, but... Eh, it was worth trying. All right, we're, we're, we're going to settle in here for a bit. Uh, actually, go ahead and allow settle down onto yellow on your fuel. Just until we get the excess sign. We'll be fine for a bit. That's assuming our tires can even last that long, to be honest. They might not be able to. You know, if we're not going to push on the... The tires, we might as well bring everybody back down to yellow, yellow. Just settle in for this middle part of this race. A couple of the other guys are still pushing their ultras, so... Oh, good for them. Lau is in our sponsor objective spot, so that's really all we really needed. I was really hoping that our gamble with Chi would pay off, but... Just, just not enough. Maybe I misplayed it. Uh, I mean, maybe the plan was good. Maybe the execution was bad. Who knows? These are the kinds of races to worth try that kind of stuff out, though, because, I mean, we're already not really going to be doing super good on overall anyway. Now, we've got the excess on Chi. We'll leave it a little bit longer. Just kind of conserve the tires, conserve the fuel. I'll be ready to push here in a minute. Ah, she actually just got lapped, so that's part of the reason why she's got excess. I mean, at the rate it's going right now, Lau's probably going to get lapped here in a moment, too. Ten laps left. I don't know if we're going to have the tires to get it, though. That's actually kind of crazy. How much percentage of tires are we losing each lap? Let's see here. She's going to be at 65%. She crossed the line right there. Nine laps left. And 60%. So she's dropping 5% each lap. Wow. It is going to be tight for her. And Lau is going to be even worse. Especially since he didn't get lapped, so he's got actually got to go with the extra lap, although he might be getting lapped here soon. Alright, 
Go ahead and uh, bump you up. How many laps left you got when you cross the line here? Six. So let's go ahead and put you up to overtake for now. I'm going to go ahead and put you up to push. Lao, however, we may have to just kind of settle you in for now. You're, you're not over on the fuel. You actually got six laps right now. You actually don't have enough fuel yet. I mean, I guess we could always pitch you one more time, but that's not not ideal. We could drop you down to conserve, but it's also not ideal. I mean, I think if we had played him a little better, we might have been able to be within striking distance of fifth place, but it does not look like that's going to happen. Need four laps of fuel left, and you're not going to have quite enough. It's close, though. As I'm talking about him, I'm not paying attention to her. So three laps left. I mean, he's going to be so close. I think he's going to be fine. And we should we'll be definitely be above the sponsor objective, which is the most important part at this point. Getting the points would have been nice, but just not going to happen anyway. He's cold on his tires. His, his wear is going to be coming down pretty fast here. Not much we can do about that. Two laps left. Last lap for her. He's going to have one more lap here. Ah, he's fine on the fuel. Barely, but he's fine. Actually, he lapped somebody. That's impressive. No, we're good. We're good. I mean, could have been maybe a little bit better if I had planned a little bit better. Uh, or execute maybe is the better way to put it. But, you know, seventh place, not too bad. Not too bad at all. And she fought her way back to 16th. So, you know, the gamble didn't pay off. Um, but, eh, it's all right. Part of it is that she goes through the tires so fast anyway, so her being the one that had the extra ultras, it probably would have been better with Lau had them because he's just better on the tires, better in the tire wear itself. He would have made them last longer, which means he could have pushed a little bit more and, and things like that, so it's all right. Still doing pretty good overall, pretty happy. Got that extra money from the... Uh, the chairman. I don't know if she's going to bring any points with her here. We'll see. She might. Actually, we might actually lose some more points. I mean, seventh place is pretty good, though. No, we gained some happiness, so we're going to be able to bounce that happiness back real quick. So we're going to be fine there. There's our save. Let's double check the money situation real quick here in a moment. Once this comes back up, we got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine races left. 2.7 mil per. So I have 10 races if we would need 27 million bucks. So we have one less than that. So we actually have just enough money to get through everything as of right now. Now we are probably going to have to hire some more pit crew and things like that, but we're also probably going to get some more sponsors left. Yeah, we're going to get you, you, you. Actually, all of our sponsors will cycle at least one more time before the end. So we're going to be fine. We're not working on anything right now. I mean, it's tempting to go ahead and work on something, and uh, but honestly, what would we work on? We are not improving parts right now, obviously, but I don't know that we'd be able to get anything in place, um, like high enough to like matter at this point. I would love to work on something like the gearbox, but I don't know, maybe something like the brakes or something would be like one of these cheaper parts. I could do rear wing. That's a pretty cheap part. Is that one of the things? What are you good at? You're terrible at the rear wing. You're terrible at the front wing. Brakes, not great. Gearbox and suspension. I mean, our gearbox is actually one of the better ones. Our suspension is not that bad. Our engine's still terrible, but hopefully we're working on that. So it really comes down to maybe brakes. It's better at least brakes than the other stuff. And brakes are rel pretty cheap, actually. You know, I'm going to believe that we're going to be fine. And I'm going to go ahead and lock in some of these things. 
Thankfully, the one without risk is just as good. So we'll go ahead and lock this in. And go from there. Because I think we're going to be fine. Alright, we're going to put a cut in there. I do appreciate you watching, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.